Hello, and welcome to part one of using Audacity to edit and record audio on a PC. It's freeware, so it's a little bit clunky, takes some getting used to. What you're looking for to start the program is a pair of headphones that are blue with some electricity running between them. There it is right there. It may wind up over here on the left amongst those icons. It may wind up down here in the start menu programs. But in this case, it's nice and simple right in front of me. One click brings up Audacity. Okay, first thing to know about Audacity is that every time you click on File and New, it does not simply open up a new file. It actually is opening up a new instance of the program. And if I do some mixing and changes over here, in this instance of Audacity, it's not going to show up in any of these other ones, and that can become confusing real fast. So keep things simple. Restrict it down to just one instance of the program. Okay, I'm not going to talk about actually recording audio in this particular session. We just want to get something to work with real quick and easy here. How do you import music into this thing? So we go to File, we go to Import, we're going to Import Audio. What's going to happen here when I click on this is a pop-up window will appear showing the last directory it pulled an audio file from. If Audacity has never been run on the computer before, it probably should be the desktop. Or maybe if it hasn't run for a long time, who knows what it will show you. But in this case, Audacity knows that Carl likes to play with audio files and he's been here before. But as I was saying, it may just show you the desktop. In which case, you need to double click on this PC, go into Documents, go into My Documents, assuming you know where you're going, because what you want to do is find the folder where you have already saved an audio file. And in this particular case, I'm just going to load an entire song, not a part of the song. So you find the file you want, click on it up there. You can double click or click there and then click open and voila. We're looking at it. All right, what are we looking at? This is called a waveform. Sound travels through the air as a wave. And when it is loudest, strongest, holds the most energy, the wave is tallest. Be these parts right here or right in there. When sound becomes quieter, and has less energy to it, the wave becomes smaller. See that little gap in there? That's a relatively quiet portion of the song, as is those parts there, as are those parts. And then along through here where it actually fades out, it becomes quite quiet. Most digital audio workstations represent audio files as waveforms. This is a stereo waveform that Audacity is showing us, and you can tell that's the stereo right there. And there are also two tracks to it left hand side of the signal is up here on the top the right hand side of the stereo signal is on the bottom these are essentially just mirror images of one another okay two super important buttons we run through the buttons up here on the top are the zoom buttons if we choose a point that we want to look at closely just click right there click on the plus and we zoom in we're now quite close in here basically just one beat if we let it play see that was pretty short right right up above you have a timeline that actually shows you how much time we're looking at and this is this distance between one minute ten seconds point three and then one minute ten seconds point four let's zoom back out again another set of important buttons are these guys right here which basically are the mode buttons bracket is what you would call the editing mode. You can choose a place, select around the song. You can click and drag and highlight a large portion of the song. But you cannot move these tracks around. If you want to do that, you can click on this, which is called a time shift tool. I just call it the moving tool. And see now I can move the whole song around. And the icon is shifted to that back and forth arrow, whereas over here, it's a bracket. Okay, the next set of buttons I want to look up over here are the action buttons. Pause, play, stop, jump back to the beginning, jump to the end, and record. Basically the same kinds of buttons that have been showing up on devices like cassette players all the way back in the 1970s through to apps on phones today. And that, I think, is what we're going to call it. And call it good. <laughs>